What do you want to see out of hitters in, at the high school level to get to here? The ability to, to you know, hitters hit. Right. And one of the things I, walk, I look at when I go watch a hitter is just some simple is how many, if he's taking BP, how many times does he square it up? Not right. how far he hits it, because most high school guys like strength. Uh, but does he have the ability to hand out coordination to square it up and get the ball in the barrel consistently? Right. So I'm looking at that seven to eight. I would love 10 out of 10. You know, I think that's important. But if you get a guy that's, you know, four for 10 and, you know, now all of a sudden he'll, he'll hit one a long way, you know, you, I just think that guys that can hit and have a feel for the barrel, uh, that's really important at a, at, a high, at a high school level. Right. Jake Robbins and I, who's also on the tour, we were talking about that earlier, how everybody's so locked in on having the perfect swing. And they've kind of lost that, just see the ball, hit the ball hard somewhere, <laughs> right? Yeah, square it up. That's what we talk about. I mean, you know, you get into exit velocity and things like that. I mean, we've, I've been coaching long enough. I can tell if a guy squares it up. And sometimes it may, squaring it up might be just a one hot line drive off the dirt. Right. It's not a ball that goes 400 feet. Um, um, I mean, that's nice too, but I need the ability to, you know, control the field, stay in the middle of the field. If, if you see a pitch away, they have the field to, to drive the ball in the right center field. I think they're, they're huge indicators for me if a guy has some feel for hitting.